Flying bikes, the future is here. We've all been to the movies before and seen extravagant renderings of futuristic worlds. Usually, some form of advanced technology is also present and considered perfectly normal to the ones using it in these stories, but not the audiences watching. Whether it's beaming someone particle by particle across vast distances, or a simple medical instrument that can patch any injury in seconds, we are dazzled by what possibilities the future might hold. It seems this gap between fantasy and reality might actually be shrinking a little faster than you think, as we are now seeing jumps beyond microprocessors into artificial intelligence and unmanned drone technologies. It is no wonder, then, why we are seeing futuristic-type vehicles emerging into the current landscape. Electric flying cars? Not just yet, but how about a bike that hovers? A Japanese startup company called Airwinds Technologies has crafted a high-speed hovering bike dubbed X Turismo that can travel up to 40 minutes and reach speeds of up to 62 miles per hour. This bike is available for purchase if you live in Japan at an astonishing price tag of $555,000, and a smaller version of this vehicle can now be purchased in the United States for $770,000. This Star Wars-inspired lightweight carbon fiber hover bike is 12 foot long and weighs in at 661 pounds. The craft was a finalist in the 2023 Edison Awards. The CEO of Airwinds Technology, Shuhei Komatsu, stated in a recent presentation of the X Turismo, Our vision is to become the leading company in the air mobility eco size system. We aim to be unique in the air mobility industry by developing a comprehensive business approach that includes hardware, software, and services. Powered by a 228 horsepower gas fueled Kawasaki engine, the bike hovers via two central rotors, backed up by four fans running on the outer edges of the hover bike, powered by an additional electric battery. These fans also function to maintain stability of the vehicle when hovering. With the X Turismo 3D control systems, riders of the bike are kept safe by onboard sensors that detect any obstacles in the air, and mapping controls on a virtual dashboard that utilizes the local landscapes and conditions through a dedicated app for the vehicle. CEO Shuhei Komatsu indicated that the practical uses of this technology could apply to many sectors and services, such as disaster relief, entertainment, and inspections of infrastructures, amongst other things. Due to stringent Japanese regulations, this new hoverbike has limited applications for the time being. Regulated to hovering only over racetracks right now until further tests and safety regulations are developed. At this moment, the company is keeping the number of X Turismos produced small, keeping the luxury nature of the item intact at those prices. Airwinds Technology has set its long-term sights on mass-producing these vehicles in the future at a more affordable price to be used by citizens and corporations alike. A video was released showing the X Turismo hovering over Lake Yamanaka with a gorgeous scenic backdrop of Mount Fuji behind it. A representative from Airwinds released this statement, saying, In publishing this video, it is our hope that viewers will be moved by the natural beauty of Yamanshi and feel the excitement of the future mobility which can be achieved through our technological capabilities. A description provided for the vehicle by Airwinds reads, Bringing science fiction to life. Imagine a world where humans have free reign over the skies, surely life would be more free. Expand your ideas about transport, experience the world like never before. Pioneer the next generation of transport. X Turismo was created with this in mind. A new journey begins. It seems that we are on the verge of a new wave of transportation technology that could change our landscape and sky travel, for better or for worse. And of course, as with all technological breakthroughs, Airwinds isn't the only company throwing their hat into the ring. Jetpack Aviation, famous for their futuristic jetpack technology, announced a successful test flight for a new jet-propelled flying motorcycle prototype. The company told the Rob Report that they spent a year and a half to develop their very own flight control software program to monitor and control the thrust on the flying prototype. Taking up about a car's length and able to take off and land vertically in most places, the bike also has the ability to fly autonomously. Jetpack Aviation CEO David Maiman stated in his interview that we could have an ultralight version ready within two years and an experimental category version within six months after that. 
The ultralight version would be limited to 60 miles an hour on account of FAA regulation, and flight time would last around 15 minutes. The experimental version of this aircraft would require a pilot's license in order to operate, and according to Jetpack Aviation, would be able to travel for up to 35 minutes at speeds of 250 miles per hour. The final version of this aircraft boasts eight turbines allowing this 300-pound bike to carry up to 600 pounds of weight using a customized 12-inch navigation screen, hand controls, and onboard radio system. Jetpack Aviation has set the projected price range for future consumers at $381,000 and have already begun taking orders for the vehicle. They outlined plans on developing a military and safety service version of the craft as well. Mankind has always aspired to fly. Be it with an airplane, jetpack or jet bike, it looks as though we are getting closer to the mark with every day that passes. What are your thoughts on the future of this technology in the hands of consumers? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for future content.